Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see plasmid isolation by alkaline lysis method. Inoculate the bacterial colonies using a sterile loop into Luria Bertini broth with any appropriate antibiotic and grow overnight shaking vigorously at 37 degrees Celsius. Take 2 ml culture in centrifuge tubes. Centrifuge the tubes at 7000 rpm for 4 minutes. Make sure to balance the tubes properly. After centrifugation, discard the supernatant and repeat the same step. After centrifugation, add 200 microliter of chilled solution 1 which has been prepared for 10 ml by adding 180 microliter of 50% glucose, 250 microliter of 1 mole tris HCl pH 8, 200 microliter of 0.5 mole EDTA pH 8 and 9.37 ml distilled water. After adding solution 1, Resuspend the pellet using a pipette. We are going to add solution to 400 microliter which has been prepared for 4 ml by adding 10 normal NOH 80 microliter, 10% SDS 400 microliter and 3520 microliter distilled water. Gently mix the tubes by inverting upside down. We are going to add solution 3, 300 microliter in each tube prepared for 10 ml by adding 5 mole potassium acetate 6 ml, glacial acetic acid 1.5 ml, distilled water 2.85 ml. After adding solution 3, again mix the tubes gently 4 to 5 times. Keep all the tubes on ice for 15 to 20 minutes. Centrifuge all the tubes at 10,000 rpm for 10 minutes. After centrifugation, the upper aqueous layer is clearly visible. So, we will now transfer this upper aqueous layer in a new centrifuge tube. Add 0.6 volume of isopropanol in each tube. After 10 to 15 minutes of incubation, centrifuge all the tubes at 10,000 rpm for 10 minutes. Remove the supernatant from all the tubes. Add 200 microliter of 70% ice cold ethanol in each tube. Centrifuge all the tubes for 1 minute at 5000 rpm. Decant the supernatant and let the ethanol to evaporate. After the ethanol evaporates, resuspend the DNA in 20 microliter TE. Now, proceeding towards RNA treatment, we have taken 5 tubes of isolated plasmid which contains 20 microliter TE. So, we are transferring all the 20 microliter TE containing plasmid tubes into one tube to make it 100 microliter. Add 1 microliter of RNAs and incubate the tube for 1 hour at 37 degrees Celsius. After 1 hour of incubation, add equal volume of PCI that is phenol chloroform isomyl alcohol. Now, vortex the tubes until it gets completely mixed. Centrifuge the tubes at 10,000 rpm for 10 minutes. The upper aqueous phase is now clearly visible. Now transfer the upper aqueous phase into a new tube. Add 0.1 volume of sodium acetate. Add 2.5 volume of 100% ice cold ethanol. The tubes on ice for 15 to 20 minutes. Centrifuge the tubes at 10,000 rpm for 10 minutes. Now, decant the tubes. Add 200 microliter of 70% ethanol. Centrifuge the tubes at 10,000 rpm for 1 minute. Decant the tube 
and dry the pellet. After the complete evaporation of ethanol, add 20 microliter of TE. These are certain points which shows the significance of antibiotics solution 1, solution 2, solution 3 that how they help in plasmid isolation. After gel electrophoresis, this is how the plasmid bands appear. If you find this video informative, do like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you.